so welcome to this video everyone on this adventure we're heading to a new state forest for us and we're heading down towards the carlisle harrisburg area to tuscarora state forest for this trip we're going to begin from a small parking area just below colonel denning state park so heading to a new area always exciting because you're never sure exactly what to expect and this area as always didn't let us down we had a gorgeous gravel ride through wonderful pa state forest with some vistas some scenes it, just, it was a good time so let's jump into the video and we'll show you so we got moving in the morning brewed up some coffee assembled the gear and got ready for a day of adventure as the beautiful sunrise began Today's adventure would be a new one for us as we headed to Tuscarora State Forest. So our ride started from a little parking area at the intersection of Elk Hill Road and Dublin Gap Road, which was just below Colonel Denning State Park. So after a quick jaunt on Dublin Gap Road, we made a right hand turn onto Pipeline Road, which eventually turned into Mountain Road, which we took all the way across the base, looking to our right at the mountain we would eventually have to climb. And even though this first stretch was paved, man, it was some beautiful Amish country. And after a few squiggles at the end of Mountain Road, we eventually found the infamous Three Square Hollow Road. Headed up. The beginning of the good one. Speed bikers attacking early. Three Square Hollow. Jeez. God, left me for dead. This is how it feels to be left behind. So Three Square Hollow Road was a good one for sure. 3.2 miles, a little over 1,300 feet of climbing, and an average of 8% grade. Definitely got the heart pumping. Beautiful, coming up through the hollow. I could just catch a glimpse of Leah on the other side. Switch back up. And as you came around the one big sweep and switch back, you got some teaser views of the vista that was soon to come. See? Getting up there now. Phew. And once you got to the top, the climb culminated with a great view and a nice spot with the picnic table where you could collect yourself for a minute and take in your reward. Look, there's still ice up here. <laughs> and more hill. That's for you. <laughs> that was a good one. Three square hollow road. Great vista at the top. It's just starting to defrost on top of the mountain here. Yeah, no. sand or sand ice mixture, sandstone. Told you we'd go to the beach. Oh, <laughs> so once at the top, we stayed on Three Square Hollow Road and eventually descended into the next saddle. Went across the saddle of the mountain. Now we're climbing the other side of the ridge. 
Oh, you were climbing, now we're going down, I guess. We're gonna ride this other ridge over. There's one more view yet. Go back across the saddle once again for the last climb. And then a bomber downhill to the car. Liking the area so far. Here she goes, off into the distance again. Henry Valley. Bower Mountain. It closed. So Bower Mountain was a beautiful road across the spine of the mountain opposite the valley, but due to some high winds, there's quite a few branches and even a tree or two down, which is probably why the gate was currently closed. Dropping. I go down across and back up that saddle. Car's on the other side of that one, yep. One more good climb. Gotta be dropping down into that saddle soon. I, I see some switchbacks on the Wahoo. Yeah. Dropping, dropping. But before we drop down into that saddle, there was one more surprise, the mutter of all vistas. Dublin Gap Overlook. Belly Gap Overlook. All the way to the Great Smokies. I said this ride reminded me of Virginia. Rolling hills. I've been to the Great Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. Farmlands all the way over. It's just like George Washington. The turtle neck. I love the turtle neck. <laughs> yeah, so that's... The ridge right in front of us, we still have to get up and over that one. Not that big one in the back. Just that one. I still think you're fibbing. You'll see. That's the last climb right up over that car on the other side. <laughs> yeah. But it looks so far away. <laughs> Not the big one. No, just that one right the big one. one. Just to go up and over it looks so far away. We're going to be climbing it in two and a half minutes. Okay. Time me. Are you Man, what a beautiful bomber descent that was down Bower Mountain, which took us to the intersection of Laurel Run Road. We made a left onto Laurel Run, which was a nice rolling cruise, and then eventually made a right-hand turn to Elk Hill, which was our last up and over that we were talking about in that last video clip, where we had to climb Elk Hill first and then descend it on the other side back to the car. But before Elk Hill turned into a climb, we had a quick little descent right down to Laurel Run. Oh yeah. Oh man. There goes the e-biker. Back in the last hill. There it goes. Hello, hey. oh, babbling brook. Please kick my butt on this one. It's kind of not been so forgiving. Pretty blatant to the point. Wrapping around. The top of this one. Oh. I kept her inside her now. I think she was being nice though. Wow, look at this. 
and at the top of the hill, you had a brief moment to collect yourself, take in this great view of the valley below, and then ready yourself for another great descent back to the car. Going down there. One last round of driving. And it's always great when a ride ends on a downhill, but couple that with some beautiful gravel, a great view, and a sunset in the backdrop, it was almost perfect. What a way to end the ride. Bomber descent, view, sunshine through the pines. Oh. So beautiful area. As you saw from the video, the vistas were oh, wide open with the winter scenes. It was a great ride for sure. Gravel was pristine. As I stay in the one section, there was some damage from a windstorm that came through, but we didn't let that dampen our spirits. Definitely be back to this area ourselves, especially now that I have the map, and I would highly suggest a visit yourself. Just like with our other PA State Forest, when you start looking at the map of the area, it just seems like it's endless. There's gonna be a lot more to look at in this area. If you're interested in our particular route, I'll leave a Strava link down below. If there's any route suggestions or anything that you have visited yourself already in this area that we should definitely check out, leave us a comment down below so we can look into that and adventure there also. That's gonna be it for this one though. So until next time, coffee, cycling, take both. We'll see you out there.